here with Damien O'Connor now to discuss the Geeth Quick Hitch Auto Lock System. So, tell me Damien, what is the Geeth Quick Hitch System? As you said, it's a Geeth Fully Auto Lock uh, Quick Hitch. Uh, it can be controlled from the cab, so an operator doesn't need to leave the machine to change attachments. Uh, both safety locks are operated from the cab. So what is the Geeth Quick Coupler? It's Geeth's double locking quick hitch system. The Geeth Quick Hitch can be operated entirely from the cab. No separate safety pin is required. From the operator's point of view then, Damien, um, as they come to the machine each day, is there anything that they need to do to make sure that the quick hitch is safe and functional? Well, as for the Geeth operator manual, we, we recommend a, a daily check uh, of the coupler. So you would do a walk around to check that uh, there's no dirt or debris in around uh, the working mechanism of the coupler. Uh, check that everything is functioning right, so go through a full cycle of the coupler, make sure both locks are retracting and engaging uh, fully uh, and there's no obstruction to the coupler. For daily checks, walk around the quick hitch, ensure it is free of excessive dirt and debris. If the coupler is not currently attached to a hydraulically powered attachment, then run it through a complete work cycle, checking that the components operate correctly. We do the visual inspection every day, but we don't necessarily uncouple. We do that on a weekly check. Tell me, talk me through the weekly check. What, well, what are we doing weekly? What we recommend for a weekly check is to obviously remove an attachment, fully hose down the coupler, and make sure everything is uh, clear and clean, so you can get a good, clear inspection on all the, uh, you know, the engaging parts, the, the highly loaded areas of the coupler. Check for wear, check for cracks, uh, you know, it's a tough business demolition, so every time uh, you're working on these breakers, they're, they're, uh, they're very hard on the machine, not just the coupler. So we, we recommend you check it thoroughly for uh, cracks and, and wear, excessive wear. For weekly checks, uncouple any attachment fitted. Clean the coupler, remembering to capture any oils and or grease that this may release. Ensure all parts are clear and clean. Check the excavator, coupler and attachment for signs of oil leaks, cracks, excessive wear and loose, missing or broken parts. Remember to observe the weekly check procedures within the Geeth manual. This includes the cylinder test. This should be carried out in a secure, controlled area. Connect an attachment to the coupler and open the coupler back to load the hydraulic cylinder with the weight of the attachment. Lower the attachment to within 300mm from ground level. Then switch off the machine and leave it at rest for a period of at least 10 minutes, observing any change to the position of the quick coupler engaging plate. And if the position is seen to drift inwards, indicating a hydraulic cylinder is in stroking, this could indicate a potential loss of oil over the internal piston seals in the cylinder, or a potential problem with the cylinder check valve failing to sufficiently retain the oil in the cylinder. If this is observed, stop using the quick hitch and contact the plant department immediately. From the operator's point of view, how do the controls in the cab work then? Well, Geet have a two-stage control box in the cab. Uh, the operator must uh, first press the first switch, which will uh, give an audible warning to let you know that you've started the cycle. There's a second button, which if you don't press the second button within a time period of five to seven seconds, it'll actually cancel out the system. You also need a pressure component. You need to fully crowd the bucket digging cylinder. This builds up pressure to 180 bar, which will then provide the second signal to the coupler to open and release the coupler. Okay, so if my understanding is correct then, we first operate the electrical system, then we must build up hydraulic pressure, which involves fully crowding the machine. And I, I take it we have to increase revs, perhaps. Um, it won't do that at idle. Is that right? That, that, that is correct. Uh, you need to, and the main thing is to fully extend the bucket digging cylinder, and then the pressure will build up very quickly. When operating the Geeth control box, remember, the box is a two-stage control box. Rocker switch one must be switched to on. An audible warning then sounds. Button 2 must be pressed within 5 to 7 seconds. Then fully crowd the bucket digging cylinder with raised engine revs to reach 180 bar pressure. 
Are there any checks that we need to do uh, in order to ensure that the buckets are locked on? And how do we go through the locking on procedure then? Well, when you pick up your attachment and you engage the attachment by pressing the off switch on the control box, you hold the, the crowd cylinder uh, for a, a period of five to 10 seconds to ensure that the engaging has fully taken place. After this, you will do a bump test. Um, and basically you will uh, bump the, the bucket uh, off the ground to make sure that it is tight and attached properly. Yeah. And that is essential here, isn't it? Because the danger with quick hitches is poor attachment of the bucket. Uh, and if that's not checked on every occasion, then mm. we can potentially have incidents involving buckets coming off the machine. But if I understand correctly, the Geith quick hitch system means that providing we do that bump test, we can be sure every time that that bucket or attachment is correctly attached. Am I right? Well, what we found and uh, the design of our coupler was uh, basically around this problem of where you don't connect properly or what we call misconnection, where the operator doesn't wait long enough period for the attachment to be engaged or the attachment rear pin to be engaged. So this is why we developed a front lock on our coupler. So basically, if you miss the rear attachment pin, uh, the front lock will engage and the attachment will, will remain safely on the machine. So when engaging attachments, physically engage the coupler on the pins of the attachment, both front and rear. Turn rocker switch one to the off position. Fully crowd the attachment for 10 seconds. And remember, conduct the bump test every time.